Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Laura and today I have another book haul video because it is Sunday and Sunday are my days for book haul videos. So today I am sharing like special edition books that are special in one way or another and I'm gonna start with the book that I'm most excited about I think and it is this 1974 edition of Brave New World and this book came out Originally, uh, I actually should have looked this up. I think it was the 40s or maybe the 30s. So this one is from quite a while after it originally released. And I thought of buying an older edition, but then when I saw this one, like, how cool is that cover? And it's the same on the back too, which I think is really cool. And then look at this binding right here on the side. So I am so happy with this purchase. I. I actually, I haven't read this book in quite a while. I've read it twice, but the last time I read it was, I don't know, maybe 10 years ago at this point. So I should read it again to make sure I still like it as much as I did then, but I think I will. But if I read it again and I really like it, maybe I'll buy another edition that is older, but I'm not in a rush to do that. And one of the things I didn't realize when I bought this book is that it is also illustrated. Oh, and also it has like the gold side on the paper but so it's also an illustrated edition which if you've seen my vintage book video you know that I love illustrated books I yeah I wish every book had illustrations um, but so I will share a couple right here so like the illustrations aren't amazing but still I still think it's pretty cool but yeah so that is my edition of Brave New World. And this is the Easton Press, Easton Press edition? Yeah, so Easton Press. So if you're wanting a copy of Brave New World, I highly recommend the 1974 Easton Press edition. I am so happy with it. And yeah, like I said, of the story itself, it's set in a dystopian future, which I don't, I don't love. Yeah, I guess it depends. Like this dystopian future, I'm okay with, but other books, I don't know, it's so overdone <laughs> at this point, I guess. But this one was one of the first ones to do it. And yeah, it's uh, like, it's kind of weird, I guess. Not everybody might like it, but I would recommend everybody to give it a shot reading it because it's really well written. And it is crazy, like how accurate he guessed the future would be, like kind of, and that's not in a good way either. But, but yeah, Brave New World by Aldous Hux. Aldous Huxley, I think that's how you say his name. But yeah, again, I just love this edition so much, so happy I got it. And the next book isn't a special edition, but I'm including it here because it's an early edition of Cloud Atlas. And when I ordered this, I thought I was getting a first edition and some booksellers can be tricky and they make you think it's a first edition when really it's just an early printing of the first edition. So like this one, because of that number line right there, this is the ninth printing of the first edition. So it's not a true first edition, but I'm still happy with it. And this is the British edition, which he is from the UK. So I think that's cool when the book was originally published in the UK. I like getting the UK version. And that's what this one is. And I also, even without the book jacket, I like how that looks too, so that's pretty. And Cloud Atlas is one, I read this book once, I'll be reading it again for my podcast to compare it to the movie. And the movie is one that gets a lot of, uh, a lot of people don't like it. I guess they thought they just tried to fit too much into the movie or something, I'm not sure. But I really enjoy the movie and I've read this book before and this book is awesome as well. Once again, it's kind of sci-fi, kind of fantasy. But yeah, it's about these four stories that all connect. And I think, yeah, it's a beautiful story. So I love it and I'm excited to read this again at some point and watch the movie once again. So yeah, that's my edition of Cloud Atlas, which this book came out in 2004. And there were first edition copies, like true first edition copies, that were selling for like $100. Like, this book isn't even that old, and it's not even that popular, is it? I don't know. I don't understand why they were so expensive. So for now, I'm fine with my ninth edition, and I'm not going to seek out a true first edition. So, But yeah, Cloud Atlas. 
Up next, we have another illustrated book. And this one is a, a kid's book, I guess. But it is a combination of The Legend of Sleepy Hollow and Rip Van Winkle, which are both by Washington Irving. Yeah, I just thought this was a cool book. Cool looking book. It's from the 70s. So once again, not especially old. But here's an example of the illustrations. So, so yeah, I love the illustrations. And that was one big reason why I got it. And it still had the book jacket. So that was cool. But I'll share a couple more illustrations in here. So here's one. And here's another. And here's one more. So yeah, I am happy with this. Like I said, it's from the 70s, but it's still in good condition and it has the book jacket, which can be hard to find sometimes. So yeah, Sleepy Hollow and Rip Van Winkle, which I have not read either of these either. So I mean, maybe I've read Rip Van Winkle, but I mean, I know both the stories because they're both so famous but I don't know if I've ever actually sat down and read either one. So I'll have to do that sometime soon. And up next is another early edition book, though not a true first edition, and that is Kitchen Confidential by Anthony Bourdain. And this one has a price tag on it. But this one, I believe this is the sixth edition of the first, sixth printing of the first edition. Yeah, so that's actually not bad, as long as it's from the first 10. <laughs> because you have the number line going through one through ten and so and then later editions the number line will go like 20 to 30 and then 30 to 40 and so I figure it's from the first 10 so that's still pretty good there are like true first editions of this are crazy expensive as you can imagine but I don't know it's still tempting <laughs> but for now I'm happy with this one and Anthony Bourdain I mean, if you haven't heard of him, he's a famous TV show chef, and I grew up watching his show, No Reservations. And then starting in like 2016, um, I, my husband and I got really into watching Parts Unknown, and so we watched every episode, and we were watching them as they were coming out. And it was also in 2016 when I first read this book. And then he passed away, I think it was 2018, right? And this was like the first celebrity death that like really affected me. And I think it's because his show specifically, I mean all his shows really, they're so personal. Like it'll be like this where he's sitting across from the camera and it feels like he's talking to you. And so it feels like you're with him as he travels and explores these different countries. And yeah, so it was really sad when he died. But, and that's why I'm tempted to splurge and get the, the true first edition, but. I don't know, we'll see. Anyway, this is a great book. Very entertaining and uh, just an interesting look into the world of restaurants, I guess. And so yeah, Kitchen Confidential. And now my next book is also another beautiful looking book. And that, that is this 2011 edition of The Count of Monte Cristo. So just look, this is, yeah, it's just so beautiful. So here's this and it has a boat in the back. It is not illustrated. It does have the gold on the side. There is a copy I'm looking into that is illustrated. So, and that one was pretty cheap. So I might end up buying that as well. But this is an awesome book. I've read the abridged version once when I was in like junior high. I honestly was probably, I think a lot of it went over my head, I think. Cause I was in like seventh grade, but I read the abridged version. And then I read this full version in 2019 and I will be reading it again next year. And man, this is heavy. My arm is getting tired. But I'll be reading this next year to cover it on my podcast and compare it with two of the movie adaptations. But yeah, this is a fantastic book. Once again, there is a reason why so many people list this as one of their favorites. And there's a reason why decades, centuries later, it still is so famous. I would also love to buy a French edition because Alexander Dumas is French. And so it would be cool to own it in its original language. But yeah, Count of Monte Cristo, and this is the 2011 Barnes and Noble edition, I believe. So yeah. Last but not least, I am sharing one of my editions of Dorian Gray because I do have multiple. But I mean, it's an amazing story and the editions I have are illustrated, so I couldn't resist. But this is a newer one and it's the like Kala edition. It's like C-A-L-L-A. But here's the cover for one, like how pretty is that? 
in the side. <laughs> and check that out. <laughs> it's just such a beautiful book. And because it's like not a particularly special edition, like it's not old, um, I got this one for a good deal too. And so the start and end of the chapters have these cool designs like that. Then let's find an actual illustration. So here is a picture. And then let's find one more. Uh, here's one at the end of a chapter, which is pretty cool. Um, but one more full picture. So here is that. And they are in black and white, but I, I don't mind. So yeah, this is my 2008 Kala edition. Kayla, I don't know how, I, I think it's pronounced Kala. So that's what it is right there. Um, so yeah, and I will end my video here with Picture of Dorian Gray. And yeah, I do have two other Picture of Dorian Gray books, which I will be sharing in other videos. And my other ones are both old. One is from the 40s and the other is from the 30s. So I'll be showing those in a vintage book video. But yeah, that wraps it up for showing off some of my special edition books. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I do book reviews, I do book and movie comparisons, and I do book hauls. And I collect vintage books. So if any of those things interest you, definitely subscribe, follow me on Instagram, check out my podcast, Why the Book Wins, and don't forget to like this video and tell all your friends about my channel and my podcast and everything. Uh, but thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.